Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot again. I hope everyone is well. How's everybody doing? Is everybody fabulous? I really hope everybody's fabulous. I'm fabulous. My work week's almost over. So, that being said, um, four left in this cycle. Taurus will go last. Who's next? Capricorn, it's your turn. Fantastic. Oh boy. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. These cards do not want to shuffle. For some odd reason, this deck is just not cooperative most of the time. I don't know why. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with every Capricorn, and that's fine. Check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. I mean, who's to say, right? Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And my friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here. I, I feel you. I feel you on a soul level. Alright, let's get down to the nitty gritty and get it done. Okay. I have a lot of stuff in the way right now. Not quite sure why. Okay. Why are you here, Capricorn? The death card popped out. Might be Scorpio you're dealing with. Could be. It's about transformation. The chubby little caterpillar going up into the cocoon, wrapping itself up and coming out a butterfly or a moth, you know. The only real difference is one of them eats your sweaters. And the other one flies really far down south for the winter. Anyway. Hmm. <sighs> There's an evolution coming into play. Change. Dramatic change. Okay. Maybe you're in a state of change right now. Uh, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You may be ready to put that house plant out on the back porch and see what it does. It's... The start in abundance isn't going well right now. What do you think of them? Three of Wands in the reverse. You may think that they're done waiting. That they're getting ready to walk away from the dock and just, you know, let the ship pass. Okay, what do you want from them? Nine of Wands in the reverse. You want the walls to come tumbling down. Okay. How do they feel about you? Eight of Cups reversed. Oh, okay. They may feel like you're returning to something. I'm hearing running back toward the dock. Not quite sure what's up with that. What do they think of you? Ten of Wands in the reverse. They think you have something you need to get off your chest. Something hasn't closed out. There's a burden you haven't released. What do they want from you? The devil. Oh, wow. This is a loaded card. I'm telling you that right now. Multiple meanings there. It can indicate a very strong, powerful connection. It can indicate things of a certain nature that I'm not going to get into. If you would like me to get into that, please shoot me an email and we'll talk about it. It can also indicate toxicity. It, it's like one of those cement shoes connections that you really need to kick the shoes off or, or you're just going to drown. It's one of those. Potentially. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a minute. 
What's the obstacle here? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone is not seeing their own self-worth. Or someone has been needy and clingy and codependent. I'm not sure why I hear fireworks going off in my neighborhood right now. It's definitely not a holiday. I don't know. I mean, there's always something to celebrate, right? Let them do them. I could care less. If it's bothering you, I apologize. You probably can't even hear it over the fan. What needs to be done? Ace of Wands in the reverse. Something needs to be put on hold. This is saying don't act yet. Let's get some clarity, shall we? Mm, this one. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get a little bit of clarity? I cannot be fumbly right now. Can I get a little bit of clarity on the cards in the table? For Capricorn, please. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now to the end of June. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed here? Oh, do you feel like talking? Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Well, I'll be darned. Okay. You feel like there could be something there. For whatever reason, it's not getting started. Perhaps it has something to do with this metamorphosis that you're going through, or they could be going through. Okay. I'm going to leave that at that. I'm not going to beat that horse to death. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here? Hi. Judgment reversed. You think they're done waiting. You think they're walking away from the dock. You think they've changed their mind. They may be returning to something else. Hmm. Okay. At least that's what you think. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? Give it a second. Are you going to jump? Are you going to jump? Hi. Ace of Wands in the upright. You want the walls to come tumbling down. You want this to get started. You want it to ignite. You're like, hello, let's go. Because you want it. But you think they're walking away from the dock. Hmm, okay. Plausible. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here for how the other person feels about Capricorn? Knight of Swords reversed. Hmm. <laughs> They feel like you watch their every move. I need one more on that. Eight 
Eight of Cups in the upright and the Seven of Cups. Yes, there's definitely confusion here. Options. Could be a little bit of confusion too. A lot of water on this table right now. Especially right there. There's definitely a lot of emotion here, mixed emotions. They may feel like you're confused as to what you want to do, whether you want to walk away or come back. It's like stalemate. The communication's definitely there. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here for what the other person thinks, Capricorn? Hi. Two of Swords reversed. Yes, I'm using my pants as a towel, it's fine. Condensation, it happens in the heat. It's pretty hot here, it's muggy, I like it. We'll talk more about that in a minute, I'm concentrating. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here? One more on that. I hate it when they do that. I really hate it when they do that. Nine of Pentacles reversed. think you have something you have to get off your chest. Burden you haven't released. A difficult decision to make. Clinginess, neediness. Okay. Make even less sense. All right. One more swing. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Ten of Wands reversed. Okay. Okay. There's something you're not saying. You're leaving something out. Something possibly in regards to an air sign or an earth sign. Difficult decision, neediness, clinginess. Maybe they feel like you need to say what you're thinking. Possibly they think that you need to say that you need them. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking. I'm hearing that they think you need, you need to admit it. I don't know why that keeps running through my head. You need to admit it. Okay. Why is the devil here for what the other person wants? Hierophant. Oh my. Two cards of change here. This is change with a quickness. Yeah, house plants. 
wanting to do it, but something just isn't right. Things are delayed. People walking away from the dock. You want to get it started, but you want walls to come down first. They're feeling like it's at a stalemate, like you need to get something off your chest. And they want a powerful connection and they want it quickly and abruptly. Change needs to happen for them. This is the most organized yet the most scattered reading I think I've ever done for you guys. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here for the challenge? Four of Cups. Okay. Oh boy. Four of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Two of Cups reversed. Somebody's being clingy, needy, codependent. Somebody in this scenario is ignoring what is trying to be handed to them because they're concentrating on things from the past. And someone needs to move on from something that they've already disconnected from. That's the challenge here. Somebody hasn't quite moved on yet. Somebody can't take the new cup until they let go of the old one. Change needs to happen. Powerful connections. Change. Maybe that's where the difficult decision comes in. Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed here for what needs to be done? Or what can be done? Page of Swords reversed. Huh. Nine of Wands reversed. Oh, wow. Someone needs to start listening. Page of Swords is the great communicator. In the reverse, he's the great listener. Stop and listen. Don't push. Okay. I think I got that. I'm going to leave that. We're going to get your advice. Six of Swords in the upright and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. For whichever one of you this is for, I don't know if this is for the Cross Watch or for Capricorn. Slow down before you hop in that boat and move on. Seven of Wands in the upright, Six of Wands in the reverse.
trying to control the situation or have all the control in the situation might not be the best path to victory. One more. Five of Swords and the Fool. Yes, a decision needs to be made as to whether you want to pick up the pieces or start out on a new path. Don't take the pieces with you. The Ace of Cups reversed and the Six of Cups in the upright. This is magical. This is beautiful right here. This is dealing with like your past stuff. It's okay to have a broken heart. We grow from broken hearts. We do. And there's beautiful memories associated with those relationships and those are the memories you need to take with you. Not the pieces that are all over the place. Take the good stuff, not the bad. The Ten of Swords reversed and the Chariot in the reverse, yes. If you don't close out the painful part and allow the sun to shine again, that chariot's just gonna go round and round in circles. And you're gonna repeat the same pattern over and over and over again. Does that make sense? Does that help? It helps me. It's making sense to me. You have to distance yourself from that painful cycle. You have to let it end and distance yourself from it. You, you can't hold on to it. You gotta let it go. You have to trudge forward, not keep going around and around in circles. Capricorn, this has been your message for the end of June. Thank you so much for your patience. I love you guys, you guys are great. So sorry for the delay. I've, yeah, I'm not even gonna go into all the issues I've had the past few weeks, but we're getting there. Thanks for your time. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys very, very soon. For your next reading. Bye-bye.